All right, what's up? So for today's uh, video, I want to go over a uh, neat uh, Chrome extension called uh, Katie Spy and basically getting you some keywords and scoping out competition and everything like that for your book. So I think it's a, a great tool. It's similar to Publisher Rocket, which I recently uh, did a video on for categories, uh, but it's just a little more compact, a little bit easier to uh, get to. It's not a separate software like Publisher Rocket. It's just a separate Chrome extension. And if you're like me, like a extension junkie, then, um, you know, it's, it's a great way to get some quick access to information. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel here of Side Business Launch. I plan on having, you know, many more videos coming out. I uh, uh, just recently started the uh, channel. That's why there's not a lot yet. But going forward, I will be uh, releasing a lot of videos, uh, tutorials, and just kind of other uh, resources for you. So please do um, hit subscribe uh, to the channel so you don't miss anything. And uh, so let's get started with this. So with Amazon, um, you just go to Amazon directly because most likely if you're doing a low content books uh, business, that's mainly where you're publishing. Uh, there are other marketplaces you can go to, but for, for this video, we're going to assume we're doing just uh, Amazon right now. So the first thing you do when you get to Amazon, or that I do, is I go to books, and then I search the type of book that I want. We're just going to do a prayer journal and we'll do for men and I'm going to click that and now these results that I uh, get I'm going to go ahead and click up top of my uh, Katie Spy extension and let this open up and now when this opens up you'll see it populating and you want to make sure this is selected to book not a Kindle it already is. Um, so you're going to see this populate with a kind of a bunch of information. I'll go through it in a little bit of what we can do with that. So it gives me kind of a, a you know, what I like about it is it gives me like a 20,000 foot view of this kind of keyword uh, that I can go after. So it says the keyword up top, prayer journal for men. And then it goes, you know, it gives me an overall. So for this, um, I can pull some more. I want to pull a bunch more results here. Cut. So basically what this tells me is that this category, number one, has an average monthly revenue of about 1,000. Average sales rank of 809,000. And this is going to change a little bit because we're still loading here. Um, but it gives me the average price, the average number of reviews. So it gives me a bunch of information. Um, now, because I loaded more, obviously, it's got, it might water that down a little bit. Uh, whereas if I had only the top 15, that number would be higher. But you'll get the picture to be able to play around with that. Uh, it tells me the amount of pages. So I can quickly look at a quick glance and see kind of what the average pages is. It looks like about 110 to 120, some of them more. And then the average price, it's given me that of about $8.00. A piece and then it also gives me the estimated monthly sales um, and revenue so I can also sort these categories so I can click that so I can see the ones that are not selling and then I can see the ones that are selling a lot so this one here I can click it and get more information um, or I can also um, do a couple of other things that I'm going to show you here I can click the um, T there for title and it's going to show me the full book title. It's going to show me some, you know, some ba basic information on it. And now if I want, I can click here to track sales rank. I'll go back to that in a little bit. So it gives me a bunch of information. Uh, the other things I can do is if I click this S, it will Google for me um, that book. So I can see how else is it getting any type of traffic. So in this case, I can see that it's also available at thriftbooks.com, eBay, uh, Bonanza, eCreator, all these places. And I can see some of their uh, initial um, search results here because maybe they have their own website. Maybe they are, you know, putting this somewhere else that I don't realize that I should maybe be posting my book to. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of information that it gives me there when I click that. Um, let me go back to it. Okay, so that's the only thing about using the extension is, of course, it does disappear like that. Uh, but, you know, it gives me a bunch of information. If I click on the C, it'll do a cover image uh, search. This is a different book because it loaded again, but this one doesn't have it. So there's no image 
for that one. So I have all this information here at my disposal and I want to show you the next couple of items. If I can get that to work, here we go. Um, so now that I have these, I'm just, I'm not going to load anymore. I'm just going to leave it like this. So I have all these, are they still loaded from before? Yeah. All right. So I can do estimated monthly reviews and I can see this one is getting a lot of reviews as 531. Although that number seems to be off of it saying it's getting 37,000. So, um, you know, so it's, it, it's getting a, a lot um of reviews and uh, sales and everything like that and then i can go by the sales rank so you know you have all kinds of options there now the next thing that i can do is i can click on keyword analysis and this it looks a little complex but it's not too bad so basically this green um, keyword in title no so it gives me a green light saying that might be a good one to compete with since it's not doing that uh, keyword and description, it's saying again, no. Um, so telling me that might be a good one to go after. And then in green, it tells me some of the bad, you know, ratings or, you know, low amount of reviews and everything like that. So it takes all that into account. Um, so basically, uh, if, you know, the red means that, you know, obviously it's has a high amount of pages. So this one, if I wanted to compete with this one, it has 592 pages, whereas the ones in amber, have a low amount of pages and there's no green there but if there were any green that means that it would be a lower amount of pages let me try to get some lower ones doesn't look like there is any um no i don't see any um so I, that's what i would do so that's what this is it's a quick analysis to take a look at it and at the bottom it also shows me as an overall for this keyword popularity you can see uh this keyword is not very popular and then for potential, it tells me that there's some potential, but then there's also a lot of competition. So it's not a very popular keyword, but however, there is a lot of competition. So that's something that may not be um, very good to get into. So that's what this can do for you. The other thing is the word cloud. If I click that, I can also have all kinds of, um, you know, uh, keywords here. So men, journal, scripture, large, gratitude, composition. So it has, you know, a bunch of keywords at a glance that I can see. And then finally rank track. And if I wanted to track this, um, if I wanted to track this uh, keyword or actually a specific book, uh, so this, grab this one. If I wanted to track this one, I would just click this and then it gets into my uh, keyword, not keyword, but book tracking there. So whenever I log in to Katie Spy or click it, I can take a look and see what it looks like. And it even tells me how many days it's been tracking for and what its activity has been since I tracked it. So that's a pretty neat little tool. Um, so let me look, let's look at another example. So basically, if I'm done with this, I can export this information if I want to. Or if I want to look for something new, let's just say I want to look for maybe blank sketchbooks i can just do that and once i've done that i can click on the katie spy again and it should load up for me new information now based on where i'm at which is the blank sketchbook okay so there it is you'll see at the top keyword blank sketchbook and again i have all this information here now that i can see on these different books and now if I like that one, I can click it and it'll bring me to the product page of that book. All right, so that's basically um, it. So what I like about it is that it's an extension. It's very compact. It's right here. I can quickly access it after searching any sort of book. And then the other thing is I can also do it by category. So if I go to drawing and I want specifically drawing type books, I can click that and then now click on this. And it should give me the category of uh, drawing as the uh, results. So, which is nice. Um, so, I am still in blank sketchbook. Actually, I would have had to take this out. So, let's take that out. Now, let's try it. Now, it should give me just drawing. Now, it's still giving me blank sketchbook. I uh, would probably have to uh, reset it, but yeah. Um, but yeah, you can do that. And if you go to, you know, you know, but it does work with categories like that. In fact, if I go to Amazon uh, charts here and, um, you know, I look at the top 100 of, of something, you know, any bestsellers in a category and things like that, it also works with that and gives you that category. 
So if you go to like the top 100 uh, best sellers and all that, you'll see some crazy uh, numbers that are uh, selling um, a lot. So that's Kindle Spy in or KD Spy in a nutshell. It's a great little tool to use. It's a nice alternative to Publisher uh, Rocket. It's pretty similar in what it does. Okay, so that one's not compatible. So you just have to find where you can do it. Uh, most times you got to make sure you select books or Kindle if you want to research Kindle. And then that's when you do your search and that's normally how it works uh, very well. So again, it's a very nice alternative to uh, Publisher Rocket. It's just a little more portable because it's right there in your extension and you can even export the data or just save it and view it there in the extension. So um, if you want more information about KD Spy, look in the description. I do have a link there that you can uh, utilize uh, to look at more information about KD Spy and they also have some nice um, tutorials right on their page as well. Uh, that's about it. Any questions about KD Spy, go ahead and put them in the uh, comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, of course.